Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here today to show you how to get this guy. The homebrew channel. Yay! <clears throat> anyway, first of all, um, you might want to make sure you have Wi-Fi, because otherwise I'm not sure if this will work for you. If you have recently updated though, you should have this little dilly. The SD card menu. We're going to be using the banner bomb in this example. And it's the V2. So first of all, you're going to want to go online. Um, I'm not sure of the link. I'll probably post it in the comments somewhere. Um, but you want to get the download from there and the HackMe installer. That will help you tremendously. Alright, now let's begin, shall we? First of all, once you get everything downloaded and put on your SD card, go ahead and put in the Wii and click this icon. Do not go here at all. Click here. When it loads up, you'll get this message. And this is true if you were paid. If you paid for your uh, hack me or anything, you were scammed. Follow the download links I put in the comments. Down here, guys. Way down here. Anyway, once you get all this done, you click yes. And you'll get this little icon. Just give it a bit because it has to tell you to press 1 to continue. This just tells you that if you paid, you were a scam and you shouldn't sell this, blah blah blah. There we go. Okay. You'll reach this screen. It'll say the test results are in iOS versions, all that. And it'll tell you three different programs Homebrew Channel, DVDX, and uh, Boot Me. It'll, if it says can be installed, you're good to go. If it says cannot be installed, you are screwed, basically. So go ahead and press A to continue. And what you want to do first, of course, install Homebrew Channel. Just click there, and it'll be installed. Then, if you want, you can install DVDX. Then you want to go to boot me. Now you got two options. Prepare an SD card. Install boot me as iOS. Install boot me as boot 2. Um, just use whatever you think will work for you. Then once you're done, it should all be installed. Click exit. And you'll be brought straight to the homebrew channel. As you can see I have uh, three apps. Um, Guitars on fire. It's basically Frets on Fire or Guitar Hero. Um, works with your Wii guitar. Five players. Um, and if you download the Frets on Fire songs from the website, you can use them on here. Just put them on your SD card. Visual Boy Advance GX allows you to play GBA, GBC, and GB ROMs. Wii 64 lets you play Nintendo 64 ROMs. Um, so basically that's about it. Um, again, don't do anything you shouldn't. Um, don't pay. It should be free. Um, yeah. So, thanks. Bye.